Hi, everyone, and welcome to this Microwaves and RF Quick Chat. I'm David Maliniak, Senior Editor at Microwaves and RF, and today I'm speaking with David Vai. Dave is a Product Marketing Manager at Cadence Design Systems, and uh, this all David Quick Chat, we're going to chew over some topics related to RF design and heterogeneous technology integration. David, thanks for joining us. Hey, it's a pleasure to be here, David. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Uh, for starters, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, about your background? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, well, let's see. I started in uh, microwave engineering. My first job out of college was with Maycom, uh, mm -hmm. and it was a really good start. At the time, um, they had uh, opened up their, their gas fab in uh, Lowell, uh, where a lot of people went through um, in the early days of, of developing that technology, uh, predating um, uh, cell phones. Uh, we were kind of driven by uh, DOD money. Uh, coming in in the uh, mid 80s. Uh, so it was a very exciting time um, of, uh, of, of a new semiconductor um, that was uh, being adopted. And uh, so I, I got a lot of uh, hands-on experience. I, I started um, <clears throat> doing um, in, the, in the test lab and then moving over into mimic design. Uh, and, and that was my first taste of uh, working with uh, software tools, which uh, I hadn't, hadn't planned on, but in a way it became uh, the defining um, technology of my career. Okay, thank you. Thanks for that overview of your career. And you know, you've, you've had the, the marketing, you've had the B2B experience. You're sort of like me. Yes. <laughs> I had the same. Um, <clears throat> we, we're so both very get, lucky, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So let's get into the meat of it. Um, you know, 5G, IoT, automotive markets, and they're, they're all so prominent in RF system design these days. So that concept of heterogeneous technology integration kind of comes to the fore. Yeah. You know, you think of something like uh, a millimeter wave phased array system. You know, you've got a device or a chip or a sub-assembly level, and that feeds upwards into the system level. Um, then on top of that, there's, there's the uh, firmware design. It's all very complex. So what, what I'd like to get your thoughts on today is how our system design and analysis software is evolving to help design teams deal with all that complexity. Um, so to start with, you know, what are some of the trends that you're seeing now in RF design, uh, system design software that's going to be really transformative for the industry? Yeah, but we didn't call it heterogeneous integration at the time. It was, uh, it was just going to be able to uh, take uh, 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 phased array technologies and panels of arrays, and 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 putting a module on the on the backside of that, and and that was a challenge from the manufacturing and design perspective. And uh, really, the way things were done were in a um, modular fashion. You designed parts, and then you built those parts into a larger part and tested. And then when you were comfortable with that, you built it, you know, up into a larger system. Um, so I think what we're just seeing is, is you know, kind of blend what I said with 4G into 5G. Now we're talking 6G. Is 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 really it's a it's a continuum of technology as things just march forward, and we just mark them with you know we, we need to call it um, you know a, a particular generation. Uh, but on the system side, on the on the adoption of technology and the merging of technologies, heterogeneous. It's just now we're looking to add functionality by integrating um, uh, multi-technologies or heterogeneous technologies in smaller and smaller um, frameworks. And so, you know, interposers, silicon interposers, packaging technology, um, all, of, all of this um, technology that allows us to integrate further and to shrink footprints is really heavily, heavily tied to manufacturing process. And so you can't really do the design without knowing what your, what your target manufacturing process is. Uh, and, and that's an area why, why Cadence is such a strong player and leader in this area is because that's really um, their forte is, 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 is manufacturing processes and, and, and the, um, the technology and the workflows that go behind that. And uh, we've partnered um, for many years with, with uh, analysis companies that provide the point tools for doing the analysis within that design flow. Um, however, a, a few years ago, um, you know, prior to the acquisition of, of AWR, uh, Cadence started uh, making a uh, investment in its own organic development of, of analysis tools um, to suit their needs and, and their customers' needs. And, and so uh, we, we released a product called Clarity, which is a 3D FEM tool 
it was about a year and a half, I think, prior to our acquisition, um, because the need is just so great to, to solve uh, electromagnetics and multi-physics problems uh, at the system level, and the system being defined in this particular case uh, as, as you know, um, multi-fabric, cross-fabric type designs, uh, different type of technologies, uh, silicon, uh, 3.5, GAN, all, all within the same package, and the package itself keeps evolving. Um, so, so that's the general trend of what's happening. And so, you know, I think back to the, the uh, you know, what we thought was impressive integration back in the, uh, the late 90s and the early 2000s. It, it, it's just, it's so much more uh, today. And, and that's, you know, the trend and it, it, I just, it just will continue. Now, when we're talking about supporting heterogeneous technology integration, bringing together these various facets of the system, what are some of the bigger challenges that uh, present themselves to Cadence? Well, I, I, I think there are common challenges for many people who are doing, many companies that are doing this. And that is that uh, we frequently they're like siloed areas of, of technical expertise. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things are, things are complicated and then we're just putting complicated things together and integrating those. So, so you, you can't have generalists, you have to have these areas of expertise and, and engineers that are experts in their field, working with a particular technology, um, and, and, and they're not generalists. They, they, they focus on the area that they know and, and they optimize um, you know, that particular component or, or, or aspect of their design um, as a team or individually, but then that all has to get put together and integrated into a system. So it's the sharing of that information and how it works as a system that I think is, is one of the bigger challenges. And, uh, you know, we really are talking about very complex systems. You don't, you don't really design these things from the ground up anymore. Um, you know, they, they're iterative processes of, 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 of taking the best of what you've got and then making it better by adding in a, you know, the next generation of some technology. So workflows become a huge thing, workflows across different design groups and across different types of uh, uh, design disciplines. I was on a call earlier today uh, with layout CAD engineers um, talking about how they integrate their RF technology. And it really is almost like we talk different languages, um, but we have to come to understand what their, their problems is. So, uh, you know, uh, my, my advice to any engineers out there, you know, really embrace your, you know, your uh, curiosity and, 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 and embrace the opportunity to, to learn cross domain and what, you know, people in another department need to know and work with your technology and how they're going to fit together because we really are doing some impressive uh, system engineering. I'm talking outside of Cadence, just what our customers are doing, and it's it's really quite fascinating. Well, you know, let me get back to you for a second. You know, talk about you know what you like personally about RF design. What what drew you to it? Well, I think uh, probably like so many people, I um it, 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 a person. Uh, it was a professor in college who really, um, his name's uh, Professor Peter Rizzi. He wrote a, a textbook, uh, a classic textbook on microwave theory. He just really made it very understandable and exciting. And um, I'm a pretty graphical person. I'm drawn towards images and, 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 and I express myself, um, you know, uh, it's easy for me to sketch out something to describe myself. I think a lot of engineers are, you know, that's the way their brains work and so, yeah, the first time I was exposed to a Smith chart and, and, and was taught how to, you know, you can map you can do an impedance transformation, you know, spinning, uh, you know, circularly uh, around uh, with uh, transmission lines or then take uh, the reactance lines and capacitance and inductances to move about the Smith chart uh, to, to create a matching network. Just I, for some reason that just clicked with me as being really, really kind of a, a neat tool, really fun. Um, and, and then when that became computerized and then, you know, the, the move from, you know, learning the theory into, you know, having software that could do that for you, um, yeah. was really a lot of fun. And, and, um, I currently have a, um, a two-stage power amplifier that is being fabricated, um, by UMS, uh, GAN Foundry in Europe. Uh, we did it as a marketing project and then they had space on a, um, a shuttle run uh, that they um, graciously allowed us 
to put the design on. So we're, we're hopefully uh, we'll get those results in May. Uh, and, uh, and I've done some on paper, we haven't built it yet, but some phase array designs, which are really quite fun. So I've been able to get my hands dirty, which is really, really, it, it's a lot of fun. And it, it, it reminds me that, that microwave engineering, at least for me, is, is, is a really cool technology. Um, I think that's about all the time we've got for today. Okay. And uh, I'd like to thank you, David, for, uh, of Cadence Design Systems for joining me for this Microwave Star of Quick Chat. And we'll see you again next time. Okay, thank you, David. It's been a pleasure.